what I have to offer you in this workshop is information that I have tested with my clients that I've worked with with myself. So working through the case studies, this is what I've found that is uh, the most supportive from my own personal experience. And then the teachers and the people that I work with and trust getting information from them and learning on this long journey what it really takes to have a true and functional core. So why is it so important that everybody in the fitness and movement industry is talking about so it? I think it's more than just you know, the look of the abs where we look strong and, and we look sexy. The functioning core does not have an aesthetic. It has a function. Building healthy IAP, which is intra-abdominal pressure, what that means really is that we are having a greater chance of injury prevention and injury recovery. It also brings in the nervous system, our ability to map and sense where we are, our sense of center, our sense of ground, our ability to really be in our body. If I turn around, my core is three dimensional, not just the front here of the rectus sheath. So we're using a can of soup as an example. The can here has, has pressure as it was filled up. When the can is full and you add weight on it, it can withstand that weight or it can withstand that load. If I was to um, take the pressure system out and pour this out, I could crush the can and then the weight can't actually hold. What we're trying to do is retrain the kind of crinkled can syndrome. Uh, we want to have less of a crinkled can syndrome in our movement where there's not healthy pressure being built and so that we can't withstand loads. So like if I was doing, you know, kettlebell swings or if I was doing, you know, anything that's just using my extremities, if my center of gravity, if my core has a misaligned breathing pattern and has a dysfunction of its pressure system, I can't hold the load. When you see somebody's not breathing properly and there's not a healthy training system happening in the center, they go to lift a weight and then they, their back hurts or they go to lift a chair and they feel it in their hip or you know, you're moving something around and then it goes down into the knee. So the extremities are a big indicator of what's happening in our center. So if our center of gravity is stable and we can learn that static uh, intrinsic strength first, we can then go into more of those dynamic strengths. So the difference between a static or isometric core strength versus a, a movement strength that includes eccentric and concentric actions that also include the limbs. So as the core gets stronger and we train it, we can take bigger and dynamic movements with load and weight. And that's an indicator that your core is actually functioning and getting stronger.